equating a conflict and a, and, and a problem of centuries, if not millennia, uh, with the acts that took place on October the 7th is wrong. I mean, it's important for me to say straight away that 50% of Scotland's Jewish population live in my constituency. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of those who's murdered by Hamas on October the 7th is a former constituent and his family are here. Uh, and they continue to be traumatised by the events of that day. I also convened the cross-party group on building bridges with Israel. And I led that from the embassy, uh, the Israeli embassy in London this week with the deputy ambassador. And we saw, as parliamentarians at Westminster saw, the unedited body cam footage from Hamas and I don't think this is actually about Palestine and Israel in one sense. It's about the brutalised, appalling acts of terrorism that were committed on October the 7th and the fact that those terrorists are rooted and embedded within Gaza. Now, everybody has concerns about the, um, the consequences following from that, which are manifestly appalling for people living in Gaza and so many children that have been killed. My Jewish constituents express exactly the same concerns. But a ceasefire is simply a pause to allow Hamas to regroup and to then pursue what they have made perfectly clear will thereafter be their intention, which is to do it all over again. And for Israel, that's completely unacceptable. It ought to be unacceptable for everybody. Uh, and I think equating a conflict and a, and, and a problem of centuries, if not millennia uh, with the acts that took place on October the 7th is wrong. What will the outcome be? I listened to the feature you had earlier on and I thought that was fascinating because what Israel says is that Hamas will no longer be in Gaza and Israel will no longer be in Gaza. They have no intention to embed themselves in Gaza in a permanent sense, but the people of Gaza need a more democratic government and only then can perhaps we even get back to where we were 30 years ago under Bill Clinton Yasser Arafat, of all people, and Yitzhak Rabin, when there was the prospect, the last time in my lifetime, there was any real prospect of taking this forward in a negotiated way. Okay.